Hey and welcome back to Toby's Rescues with Toby. Me. In this video we'll follow up to the Victron VRS GPS we installed up there. And the reason why I want to do that because I just had it theoretically set up on my desk. I didn't move, I didn't do anything, I didn't check if it's working or not. So recently I went on a camping trip and I can tell you from LA to Sion to Bryce and the way back and I'm talking about my Raspberry Pi 4 with the GPS connected, nothing else, super simple setup. Like here, you can see it. And I took this setup as well as, by the way, the Lucidity battery box. I took with me as well as a power source with my solar panel on top of the car. We did install in this video. Sorry for those references, but I'm really excited that I was able to use so many things, which I, we installed. Well, when I say we, thanks for helping me. I did install all of me. Thanks, Toby. But I took all the setup with me and I wanted to see how good does it track. So here it comes. It's very important. It needs a constant connection to the Victor and VRM portal. Which means, how do I solve the problem that I have constantly Wi-Fi? And when I say Wi-Fi, not just a local network, internet. I have one of those little um, hotspots, which you can buy. Um, I have a SIM card in there and I have a constant hotspot. And here comes the trick, so you don't have to constantly change your Wi-Fi or connect to it new. Um, you could do that, of course. I just set up the Wi-Fi name exactly like it is here at home. I'm not showing you how that works. That's totally up to you. You might have a different solution, but this is what I'm doing. I'm using this hotspot using the same Wi-Fi SSID. And as soon as I leave home and have this hotspot on, the Raspberry is connecting back without reboot. Usually it's connecting back to the Wi-Fi hotspot. And it means I have constant internet connection in real time, pushing all the information up to the VRM portal. That's awesome. So that's what I'm doing. And I want to show you, we export all the data, we'll put it in Google Earth and we can see which route I took. And it's not a secret, everyone is taking those routes who, uh, who's visiting America and doing a national park tour. So I have nothing to hide here. Looking at my Raspberry Pi at the moment, this is Raspberry Pi 4, as mentioned, I have nothing connected except for the GPS picture I showed you already. It's right here on, on my desk, right in front of me. But I took it with me in the car. We'll switch to the VRM portal because that's where everything is locked and tracked. And right now it has GPS information. So that is one of my accurate information right now. Oh, cool. It just got uh, also all those wire temperatures back because I connected them back in. I'm going to my installation, Raspberry Pi 4, going to advance. And when you have activated this widget here, then you can see uh, up here speed, altitude, and current location. I'm pulling it up because you don't need to know my exact location right now. Um, but you can see that's where I'm right now. So, and the trick to understand where have I been the last couple of days? Because what I'm, I think it's weird that when you see here, show me all the last seven days. But okay, but it's not showing up here. I don't know why that is. I would expect the route or everything in, in here. It is what it is. Uh, maybe they're putting it in. Maybe not. But currently, you have to set up. Um, I did a trip. When was it? Last week we left, so it's around eight days ago, I would say. So let me put in, I want to have all the information from 27th. Yep, time-wise is okay. Until, I think, when, we, when did we come back? Oh, God. Um, Wednesday, let's do a late night. So a little bit more than seven days. The trick is you have to define the historical data in here, what you want to download. and then you can click on download the GPS tracks. And what it does, it downloads down here to gps.kml. And with this file downloaded, we switch to Google Earth. Here we are, Google Earth. Hello, welcome back. And what do we do next here on the left side? These are called projects. Click on this one, say open, and then I import KML file from computer. Switch to the folder where you have the file and Upload it. Oh, it has my old one here. Funny. So, you can see we started here in LA. Um, and then I can see the blue track. That's my route. So, so here it comes what happens if you're driving and you're not having internet connection. I was driving from the way on the way back from Bryce Canyon and somehow I messed up the Wi Fi. I think I turned it off or something on accident. So, here we can see that there is just one line and that one line is by the way just driving to 
Sign National Park instead of two lines. And how does it look like when there are two lines? Well, I can show you because here's Las Vegas. Because in Las Vegas, here we have two lines. So one is driving to Sion and the other one is driving back. So it did track, but I lost from price driving back somewhere. I turned it off on um, an accident. Um, can happen to you, but you can see when I go now, so what? When I go back in here, because that was a way to sign on the way back, we took the other route in 15 here. And when I zoom in here, we can see it's still just one. So I hope you can learn out of my mistakes. The Raspberry needs a constant internet connection. Let's not say the Raspberry. Let's say the Venus OS installation needs a constant internet connection that it uploads everything to the VRM portal. Otherwise, it's not visible there. Um, and coming back to also a question from a viewer. If um, data is stored offline, not really. I mean, maybe up to a point. Someone was saying uh, there's a little time period or whatever, or what? There's uh, up to one megabyte it stores. I have no idea if that's accurate or not. I didn't find anything about it. So for me, this is proof enough. If there's no internet connection, I'm losing data. And not only GPS, I'm losing all data which it's collecting. It means also about your battery. It means how much solar power is coming in and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. I think it's amazing to have this GPS, and I think I like it. I think for camper vans, for boats, all those kind of things, it is a cool feature to have. Is it necessary? Probably not, but it's a cool feature to have and being able to track. Maybe you want to do a road trip, maybe you're driving around. Maybe you want to have a you know, peace of mind and you have a constant internet connection in your camper anyways. This is the way how you can track it, where it's right now, where it's real time, because you can see last update, it's real time. So it means I'm tracking myself right now here. And you can potentially share your installation with someone else. As I showed in this video about a Victron map. And they would be able to also log in and use your GPS data and look at that. Where have you been? Maybe from family members. You know, there's such a use case and you have peace of mind. Hey, family, I'm leaving. But this is this login. You can track me anytime. Might be good, maybe not. It's up to you. Oh, by the way, subscribe and like the videos would be amazing for me. Thanks for watching. Tschüss!